But just for yeah. a moment uh, to yeah. stick with United, um, yeah. Rashford in particular, I think both of us have always thought he, he has the potential to be a really outstanding player, a top, top player. And to be fair, uh, to Gareth Southgate, he appears to have recognised that. He's played him and played him in his right position for England. Uh, but uh, Rashford uh, has killer pace. He wasn't really often in the team. He was never in the team uh, because uh, as a centre forward, he would be playing out wide. Uh, but Solskjaer has liberated him. And also, and interestingly, Pogba, he's found a position to allow Pogba to be uh, a useful player for the team, as was demonstrated by the first goal yesterday. Uh, and Pogba is another beneficiary of the absence of fear. And when you consider that Pogba, the way he was treated by Mourinho, first of all, he dropped him. Then he criticised him publicly. Then he made him captain. Then he dropped him again. I mean, yeah. I, I'm not saying that Pogba's worth 100 million, John, but he, he played well yesterday. Well, he, uh, yeah, he, he played okay, I mean, I, you know, he, I keep seeing it in the, in the, in the television, I mean, you know, when he has the win and he, he made a good pass for the goal, he played, he played well, yeah. uh, you know, no, no matter what, but, it, but it, it's all hype now surrounding Pogba, you know, he's, he's, he's got, it, the people are talking the way they're talking, yeah. he's, he's, as if he's a great, he's, he, he is what he is, I mean, and I think Solskjaer has been very, very intelligent, uh, I don't know whether he's meant to do it, but he's released Pogba from any responsibility around the middle of the pitch yes. because he, can, he doesn't know how to play with responsibility. So what they've done, they've given him a free role, as we would call a free role, yeah. Eamon, and it has worked for him. Pogba is playing better now for United than he has under Mourinho. Now, with Mourinho, he was playing in the middle of the field all, t all the time. He was supposed to be the central midfield player to make things happen. He can't do that. So I think Solskjaer obviously has recognised it and has given him a position where he doesn't have any responsibility. So he's getting the best out of Pogba of what Pogba has. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and in Mourinho's case, he handled it really, really badly, as he did with many other players in there. I mean, yes. You know, he, he, as you, you, you mentioned there, you know, he, he, he humiliated Pogba. Yes. And then he gave him the captain. Then he humiliated him again. Yes. So he didn't know what way to treat him. And he picked on the wrong guy to do what he did with, with, with Pogba. Uh, and obviously, from Solskjaer's price, good luck to him. He has made that work. In Rashford's case, I mean, uh, when Van Hal came in, Van Hal put him in the team straight away. Yeah. And he was brilliant. A great young fella. And since Mourinho came in, because Mourinho then had to go at him. And he, he, he seems to be a sensitive type of lad. Yeah. When, uh, funny enough, when he was released to play for England, he was a different player altogether. Yes. And now he's a different player altogether because he's been, he's, as I say, putting, 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 her, putting her arm around him and playing him in his right position. And Rashford is, is, is a very, 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 very promising player, I mean, as, as we can see now. So it has been a big change for since Alciar come in. Mourinho did lose the dressing room, as they say nowadays. And the players, Rashford particularly, has, uh, and Pogba, have improved under Solskjaer. There's no doubt about that. Now, the other person I think is significant, John, uh, is Mike Phelan. Mike Phelan was a Manchester United player, but he was uh, there with Ferguson uh, as an assistant for quite a long period of time. Uh, I would say he has um, some input, uh, and he's another uh, sort of in-house guy who knows the way Manchester United uh, has to work. Now, you played for United, played for a long time, played big games for them. There is a thing about Manchester United, and I think it affected Spurs yesterday, which I'll come to a reason in a minute. Manchester United's reputation, John, goes before them. They are a formidable proposition. There is a swagger. There is a belief at their best. And they, I mean, even when you played, the same thing applied. They had great players, but they had also, they could... Uh, make opposition fear them. Well, to be honest, Damon, in my day, we didn't. <laughs> there wasn't many, there wasn't that many feared us. To be quite honest, we weren't. We, I wasn't a good spell for Manchester United. Yeah. But I know what you're saying. I think that, that there is a tradition there in the club, uh, especially from uh, Matt Busby, so Matt Busby's day, where Matt Busby freed players completely to play. Yeah. Uh, there's no doubt about that, uh, and that's a tradition in the club. Uh, but again, it's it's 
it has to be good managers that can do it, Damon. Oh, of course. You know? Yeah, but you it's know, it's an asset. Uh, just to give you an example, we've often talked on the phone while we're watching a game, uh, and they used to call it Fergie time. Teams would yeah. go there to get a lead, and they'd shrink, they, and they'd, they'd retreat. And it was basically on the basis of United's reputation for never quitting uh, and the fear of the Manchester United sort of uh, uh, myth, really. And it worked for Fergie, and he made it work for them. And that's a yeah, kind but, of... Yeah, but he was, he was great, though, right? He was a great manager to insist on that. I mean, yeah. they had other managers before who couldn't do that. Yeah. You know, like, you have to get the manager in. Of course, there's a tradition at Manchester United... But you have to have a manager who, who understands the tradition and is able to uh, improve players and improve the team yeah. uh, to, to get, make the most of that, that, that tradition. And Fergie had that. Fergie's time was obviously insisting on players to do the right thing right up to the last second yes. of the game. And always to believe, no, always yeah, to believe the, that you could score. Yeah, well, it was the right way to do it. Yeah. You know, there's a thing in the game, you know, you hear the, the, the funders a lot now, I mean, you know, oh, there are two goals behind, what they've got to do, they've got to start pushing the full-backs forward, and all the cliches that go with it. Actually, what you've got to do, and Ferguson obviously did it, was if it was the right thing to do in the first minute, it was the right thing to do in the last minute. Yep. And he, that, he obviously got that into the players and insisted upon it, insisted upon it, because the nat- natural inclination of many players, as we know, I mean, is to start hyping it into the box. Yeah. You know, like what Fergie said, no, you don't do that. You keep going, you keep, and it became Fergie time. But that was the tradition with Manchester United under Busby as well. Yes, it was. Who, yeah. who, yeah. who started that, you know, there's no doubt about that. As now, you know, I felt that with Matt Busby before I left. But he was a great manager in doing what he did, yeah. was to insist on it. I mean, while I was there, he, I mean, the players weren't, I think it was a bad, a bad lot of players, uh, the, one of the worst lot of players that Matt Busby ever had, I think, at that particular club. But, but he still insisted on doing what he believed in doing, which is to play, play, play all the time. With the freedom to play, there's no doubt about that. 